Hi ladies and gentlemen, it's time for another episode of Sewing and Trifocals. This is Allison, your hostess, and I hope you're enjoying learning from my successes and failures, learning along with me. And I do have a little bit of fail tonight. I apologize for my absence. I was under the weather and they gave me some antibiotics that also made me feel pretty lousy. I'm back in the saddle again, and here we are in an evening after my work day is through. And I want to show you the hilarious result of the underwear experiment. First of all, I apologize for the fan noise. We're having heat and humidity here in California. Anyway, as you can see here, this is the quick sew pattern. And according to my measurements, I was in size extra large. So that's what I traced and cut out. And I had some interesting results. Sorry, I needed to turn the camera sideways so that you could see. Uh, as cut out, <laughs> the underpants were droopy drawers, so I kept taking them in with the serger, taking them in, taking them in, taking them in. So they're actually, you can see I've got them positioned centered on the fold line, more or less. You fold the fabric and cut the pattern out that way, but you don't cut here because that's your fold. So, okay, I cut out view A extra large which according to my measurements was the right view. I have wound up creating an extra small which is kind of hilarious. Um, I think they are just convinced that we American women are going to lie to ourselves about our size on a sewing pattern so it looks like these run very large but at any rate um, <laughs> that was kind of funny. The other thing I, uh, my panel that I made inside of, uh, of power mesh didn't work out too well. So I'm going to take it out and just have these be regular old underbritches. And, uh, it is as if uh, Nancy's Notions, another one of my favorite companies, knew what I was dealing with because... Lo and behold, I got a catalog a couple of days ago, sew your own lingerie, including smoothing shapewear. And I'm not too embarrassed to say I need some professional direction on how to make shapewear. Now, my regular formerly droopy drawers, which now fit me, I can wear under my stretchy jeans because they all tame my tummy already. So I guess it's no point in having double tummy taming. But the next pair of britches that I make I think will be a small or extra small um, because this is the craziest pattern. I mean it runs several sizes larger than what it should be. And unless I'm really measuring myself wrong, and I know I haven't slimmed down that much. I wish I did. but uh, So anyway, I have ordered this pattern for shapewear which mostly will uh, interest the female sewers and sewists out there or the gentlemen who are sewing for a lady. And um, I like this one, which would go under a skirt or a dress and gets all those target areas. And they have other, uh, they also offer the fabric here. So I'm hopeful that I'll make something that'll smooth me out. But meanwhile, I'm going to continue to uh, do my sit-ups and I'm going to take the, the failed uh, tummy panel out of the britches there and just have them be uh, regular britches and much less droopy than as originally cut. God bless you all and I will be with you to show you the final britches. I might model them but with leggings on underneath because I'm old. <laughs> God bless you all.